Hey yo, what's up guys? Uh, this is Rich again for another edition of Learning with Rich. Alright, so in this topic, let's continue our discussion in our Navis Work Manage. So this topic, we're going to talk about sectioning. Okay, sectioning tool can be found on your view tab. There's the sectioning panel, so all you have to do is to enable the sectioning. So it enables cross-sectioning of the current viewpoint. Okay? So to get started, so I'm going to open the exercise file. I'm just opening the sample file here so that you can follow. This is the out-of-the-box uh, sample files when you install Revit. So I just opened. So as you can see, Autodesk Navis Works enables us to turn on the sectioning for the current viewpoint and to create cross sections of our model in uh, 3D workspace. Okay, just remember the sectioning functionality is not available for 2D sheets. So it's only available in 3D view. Okay, so let me just go ahead and select the home button here. So sectioning is very useful whenever you are having a coordination meeting with your other team members or with other contractor or consultant okay when you are doing uh, clash detection uh, when you are doing uh, some markups when you are doing comments when when you're putting some comments to your model so sectioning is very useful in those uh, uh, stages of your project okay so let us now enable the sectioning. All right, so I'm going to click this one. And as you will notice, this portion here is already uh, modified by our section. So we just really don't know what happened. But if we are going to select fit selection from the sectioning tools tab, so you just need to click this one. So you will notice the section planes there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my section plane at the top portion. So I'm going to click this drop down arrow. Just make sure you select top here. So you will notice the section plane is now at the top. So hovering your pointer along the gizmo, the color blue arrow, we call this gizmo. So I'm going to hover my pointer to the blue arrow. So as you will notice, it becomes yellow. So if I move this up, drag up, so you will now notice it section our model, right? Okay, it's a very nice feature of uh, Navis work. So you can incorporate here the orbit tool so you can navigate furthermore your design, right? And then again, you can hover your pointer and then you can move it down just like that. Okay. So that is actually our first plane, our current plane. As you can see, current plane one. So our current plane one is located at the top view. So let's say, for example, I also want to have another plane to this side here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this drop down arrow and then I'm going to select plane two. Now for my plane two, by default, it's bottom. So I'm going to change this. So let me just go ahead, select here front front this portion how did i know that this is the front by just simply looking at the view cube here you will notice that this side is front so this side is front right this side is what so that side is right so this is right side so i'll go ahead and select the front here you will notice this section plane will be uh, transferred to this portion so i'll just go ahead and select the front here there you go so uh, for my plane two, my section plane is at front. So I'll be able to section the front. Okay. So it's a very nice feature. Okay. But if you're going to move this up, you will not be able to section that, right? So what you can do, if you want to combine your plane one and then your plane two, because our plane one is the top portion right you see that's our plane one this is our plane one so this is our plane two the front so if you want to combine those two plane all you have to do is to select link section planes so if i click this one 
So it's now turned on. So I will be able to create section on the front view as well as the top view. Right? So it's a combination. So if you are going to uh, activate link section planes. Okay? So link section planes to make them move to together. Okay? So aside from that, if you are going to click this drop down arrow here, so there is another option here. One of the option is align the surface. So let's say for example, I want to place the section plane to this surface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the drop down arrow and then I'm going to select align to surface. There you go. So I can now click this one. Boom. So my section plane will be transferred to that surface. Right? Okay. So let's say, for example, oh, I want to transfer to this surface of my duct. So just click the drop down, align the surface, click. So that's my plane too. It becomes custom, customized. Right? Okay, so it's not that difficult. So another way to navigate or section your model aside from move there's an option here rotate okay so let's try rotate let's click this one so as you can see it's like this so you'll be able to section it by rotating right okay all right then I can select the move again. There you go. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, Navis Works has these tools for us to be able to navigate our model, coordinate our model completely without any problem. Right? Okay. So I'm not going to turn off this one. So I'm just going to click this one all right, so that it will go back to its default shape. All right. So that's the power of sectioning. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can always put it on the comment section below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right. So don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. And please tell it to your friends that this uh, channel is existing, okay? So, once again, this is Rich from Re uh, Learning with Rich. Have a nice day.